Good day and welcome uh, to action in the secondary schools, Tiger Tank Secondary Schools Football League. We are the under 14, the under 13 division here as we get things on the way. We have a uh, Scarborough Secondary up against Light and Life. Uh, the Scarborough Secondary team, they are in their traditional blue and uh, black uniforms. They're up against Light and Life who in their red jerseys and uh, yellow pants. Uh, we're seeing the action just already started here at the Montgomery Gong. Light and Life, they'll be kicking from right to left on your screen. So we have a throw in there. And Duncan turns one way, then the other. Good turn there by Tony. Even the Tony again. So Tony picks up, puts on his moves as Scarborough begin to come forward, but it's cut out. Banged downfield, headed clear. And uh, the skipper for the Scarborough team just clearing it upfield. A bit of a battle here. And coming out with it is the Pentecostal Light and Live. Both teams yet to really settle, but that's a beautiful ball there by Beard. He plays it wider to Manswell. Manswell snakes past his man, that's Keyshawn Manswell. And he has a shot. It's saved by the keeper. Beard comes across. It's going to be a corner here for the Scarborough Secondary School team. It's going to be taken by Beard. He's going to be taking it with the left boot, with the right boot. It's going to be curling out. In fact, he leaves it for Kishon Manswell to take. So this game here at the Montgomery ground. Well across. The keeper not saving. It's still not clear. And there's a shot. Oh, it's into the back of the net. So in just the th third minute, we see the Scarborough Sec team, they celebrate. The ball was not cleared. And there, a fantastic shot by York. Come Roy York. He runs across to his teammate. They celebrate Scarborough Sec. They scored early here. So the Pentecostal Light and Life school team, they'll have it all to do. They are trying to get their passing game going. Goes out of play. Pentecostal Light and Life trying to get back in this one. Kaya James. He's able to win back and he goes for a bit of a run. And then it's Maxime. Devon Maxime. Ball played across the area. Just a bit too far forward. And we see running to track it down was Gibbs. But he loses out for the captain, Peters. Peters with the ball forward to Walters. Track that ball was played forward to Manswell. Who loses out? Ah, beautiful skill and trickery there on display by Manswell. That's Malik Manswell. So Manswell and both teams. They're having a shot from distance was Samuel. This kill Samuel. More speculative than anything. It's going to be a goal kick here for Scarborough Secondary. They already lead this one. One goal to nil versus the Light and Life. The Pentecostal Light and Life Secondary School. Ball cleared long upfield. Good defensive header. Ball played forward. It looked like it was going to be dangerous. But coming across and putting in a good defensive tackle was Theo Peters. Ball going out for a goal kicker here again. So Scarborough Sec 
they've drawn first blood in this one. They got their goal off the boot of Cameron Cameron York. Of course, in Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago. The, the York name synonymous with Dwight York, former Manchester United and Trinidad and Tobago striker. He now coaches in the Australian League. Ball played up. Again, a good defensive header. And the ball just cleared. So looking to go for a bit of a run there was Maxime, but he loses out and in that ball just cleared downfield. Goes out for a goal kick. It's gonna be a goal kick to be taken by Connell Davidson. If I could take, <laughs> I'm going to be taken here by the, the skipper, Theo Peters. Gives it to Davidson. Davidson with that big ball forward. It was aimed at Manswell. Sean Manswell, but across to win it was Malik Alain. That ball going out, and it's going to be a throw-in. No ball retrieving personnel here. So you've got to do all your hard work. Run across, get your balls, and get them back in play. Malik Alain. Ball played forward, James. Ball cherry through. But it's straight in the hands of goalkeeper George. And he has a good dunk, dunk feel. Um, with a good defensive challenge. And here comes the Pentecostal lighter knife, able to get into their passing sequence. Nelson. Nelson with the early ball across. This goes out off of Daniel Walters, and it's going to be a corner for the Pentecostal lighter knife. Running across to take this one, we have Dian Maxime. Devon, sorry, Maxime. So Devon Maxime. Going to take this one. He takes a short corner and the ball is pumped back inside, but it's easily handled there by Davidson. And then he goes back to Stewart. Some nice work here by Gibbs, but then they lose out and be able to come forward with it. Here's the Scarborough. Team. Losing his footing on two occasions there was small like him Duncan. The referee calling for infringement. I didn't see much wrong in that situation. You see standing over the ball. The big number twelve, Davidson. Kanye Davidson. With a shot from distance, the keeper comes and he's able to claim quite easily. And then he points it downfield. Just bang downfield anywhere will do. He's just getting his pocket pick. Was the defender? Ah, oh, the ball just kept in play. Still kept in play. The Light and Life team able to string some passes together here. Looking quite competent when they're knocking that ball around. But here it for it's to the big guy and through on goal. No, it's just a bit too far forward. There's so that ball going into the arms of the 
Waiting goalkeeper Gregor. He has a good dunk, dunk feel. But winning out there is Benjamin. Still Reggie, man. He was asking for support. None was coming. The ball going out of play. So it's going to be uh, throwing here to Scarborough Secondary. So if you're just joining us, you're watching uh, uh, the Tiger Tank Secondary Schools Football League action. The under 13 boys division. The Pentecostal Light and Light up against Scarborough Sec. Scarborough Sec lead one goal to nil. You're getting all your action right here on Tiger Sports International. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Yes, like, subscribe, and share for all your footballing info. Trying to put that ball into the area. There was Walters. Comes out is going to go out. So it's going to be a train. To Scarborough Secondary. Going to take it the big Benjamin. Track it's a true for Pentecostal light arrive. So it's quickly taken the air by Malik Manswell. Uh, offering a, a retake. And it's Gibbs who's gonna take it. You'll have to go back. Some pieces. Thrown into the area. Ball cleared up field. Falls nicely there to Manswell. Manswell bursting into the area. The ball just giving away. And Duncan with the ball across. Finding it's cleared for a bit of a foot race. James able to win out. But then he gives it away. The ball is cleared. And then finally put into touch. So it's going to be the Pentecostal Light and Life team stroke. So Scarborough Secondary this season have played some good football in most of the divisions have not been dominating thus far nor have they been dominated but they'll come today to try to send a message they'll try to get a win here ball played forward trying to get that was York going <coughs> York already with a goal in this one. So a lot of delay in taking that throw in there. As we see some of the fans, some of the students. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Uh, some good work there. And it's just it just loses out. Ball banged upfield. Cleared forward. Winning out Tony. But he legally says the referee. So it's gonna be a Pentecostal light and life. Free kick. As they go wider trying to attack down that right side. Ball going out of play. In no great hurry, the Scarborough Sec team. So as we approach 15 minutes in this one, Scarborough Secondary daily one goal to nil. So a bit of a delay here. Time just being 
past in taking this throw. Ball just banged up field here by the Scarborough Secondary School team. And here they come. Ball play through. Good win. Looking to tee it up there. But unable to do so. Cheeky backfield. Good turn. It's going to be a free kick here. A very interesting position. Standing over the ball, Ben. Zohani. Ben. Seems to be finally decided that Tony, Jahim Tony, will take this one. A two man wall set, set. ball up. Just headed clear. So it's going to be a throw in to Scarborough Secondary. Jordan finds Beard. Beard lifting that ball forward. But it goes. Easily into the hands of the goalkeeper. Trying to be cheeky. Yeah, the big number five. Ball play through. Manswell, you'd have just have straight offside. The ball banged up field here again, but it's broken up. Looking to come forward is Benjamin, but Manswell wins out. Still Manswell, and that ball just going into touch. So it's gonna be Pentecost Life, Life Ministries ball. And uh, coming forward here, Manswell, Kishon Manswell with the ball across. He scored the first goal, oh, and it's into the back of the net. So he has a double here. Clark, Cameron, Roy Clark. It was simple like that. The, the referee would have, th the, sorry, the keeper would have think that he should have done better. The ball just bubbling through his arms. And just like that, Skybrosek find themselves down two goals to nil. So here comes the Light and Life Ministries team looking to strike back Maxime. Devon Maxime trying to get. His dribbling seals going, but he loses out. And Pentecost Light and Life able to come forward. They're streaming forward here now. Tony. Still Tony. Tony with a shot. Oh! What a shot there yeah, by Jaim Tony. Look at the celebration. He waltzed through the defense. And he finished with a plump. His team congratulates him. Look at him here. He went past one, two, then three. And then finally, with a rocket, goalkeeper Greg with no chance. Tony celebrates. His team goes up three goals to nil. And Scarborough Sek here looking to rout Pentecost Light and Life Secondary. A 
Miss Pentecostal Light Arrive. To start off from the kickoff, it is a hopeful ball that will run harmlessly out of play. <laughs> In fact, there seems to be an offside call. So we're seeing the, the teams just getting a bit of a water break. So we have a For the water break, as it's very hot out there, so the two teams just getting a bit of a refreshment here with 20 minutes gone. And we have the goals. This was the first one unable to clear the lines. The first man to respond was Camroy York. And he put his team up one goal to nil. Then he waltz his way past the defense. The keeper will think that he should have done better. But it was a good finish. And then if that finish was good, this one was even better there. The big man, uh, Jaheim Tony, <laughs> waltzes his way into the area and banging it past goalkeeper. Darren Greg in goal for Scab for Pentecostal Light and Life. So Scarborough Sec, they lead this one. Three goals to nil and looking quite comfortable. The two teams just having a bit of refreshment. Uh, the Light and Life team, they'll have to come back out and try to find answers. I, they look competent in terms of the knocking of the ball. But they just seem to want to do a bit too much individually i think if they get into their passing now games they can't compete and match this scarborough secondary school team remember you're watching the tiger tank secondary schools football league right here on tiger sports international it's the under 13 division of the tobago zone scarborough sec daily this one three goals to nil So the referee just calling back out the players. It's a water break, not a tea break or a lunch break. Players just taking their time to get back onto the pitch, the playing surface. Ball banged up field. Good turn there. Trying to tread a needle. Ball still not cleared. Ball across. Oh, and it's just tapped home. For a fourth goal, they were unable to clear the lines. And just with a simple task to tap it past the goalkeeper in goal. There we see the referee, Dennis, just coming to have a discussion with the player probably trying to explain to him his call Scarborough team in blue looking to come for more. A shot taken from a acute angle there by Manswell, Kishon Manswell. The keeper able to gather. Going down and staying down is a Johnny Moore. 
for Pentecost the later life. They were free calling on the physio. Just to administer some sort of treatment. <laughs> Another of the Pentecost Light and Life players taking the opportunity to just sit back. He takes a seat, he rocks back. And a couple of them well. It's pretty hot going out there, but <laughs> I think if you come to play sports, especially football, should be on your feet. Unless you're injured, of course. Just coming off. We're going to bomb the ball. One stop field. Just going on a play. All banged up field here by Craig. And there we have it, another goal being scored there by <laughs> Scarborough Secondary. Just out of nothing, really. And we see a bird there just <laughs> enjoying the celebrations a bit more than the players. So there we have the goal. The ball was played across. And all of nothing really. The, the defender playing with it. And then Johnny on the spot to add a second for his team. For himself. And a fifth for his team. As Scarborough, <laughs> they lead five goals to nil. Pentecostal, Pentecostal Light and Life. They have not played badly. But they've just been unable to control uh, the striking ability of that man uh, as he tries a shot from distance. Well cleared up field, but it's easily handled there by Walters. And they're able to knock it wrong at the back. Davidson just being able to getting able to turn there. 
and bring the ball forward. So they're able to stream forward here. Ball played across. Trying to go for a run there was Manswell. Still Manswell. Oh, good skill there by Manswell. She tries to get his ball across. But it's cleared out. Only as far as the skipper Peters. Trying to be too cheeky. He's able to come back and win it out. Falls to Tony. Tony. Tony with a shot. Good work by Craig. A great double save there by Craig. He's able to save it. And then he points it upfield. So that's the halftime whistle. So at the half in this one, Scarborough Sec. They lead five goals to Dale versus the Pentecost Light of Life. We go into the break. When we come back, we have more in action in the second half. Chibacha in Chu, you know, see under 14 here? Yeah? You men knock him by a big, big man thing by. Telling you. Yeah. So, welcome back as we get ready for yeah, second half action here <laughs> in the Tiger Tank Secondary yeah. Schools Football League. It's the under 13 division. It's a game in Tobago, the Tobago zone. Scarborough Sec, they're up against Pentecostal Light and Life. Scarborough Sec, they lead five goals to nil in this one. So they're getting ready for the restart. Closest to camera, Cameron York. He got an early. First half double as he keeps warm. And there we see Scarborough Sec, they begin to play the ball for Scarborough Sec in blue and black, the traditional blue and black. <laughs> You're up against Pentecostal Light and Life, that ball just sticking in the mud. In the puddle. Ball played wider. Yeah, they not understand. Are you watch it? Big enough. As they begin to bring this ball forward. And Pentecostal Light and Life. Trying to find their way back in this one. Oh, there's a bit of a handleball. A purposeful handleball. He'd be lucky not to find himself in the referee's book. And that's Manzuel. Malik Manzuel it is. Ball kick long. Tony. Oh, trying to get his shot off. Was unable to get any good connection. So still Tony. Oh, strong challenge. And finally it's cleared away. Ball going up here. It's gonna be Penty Light, Pentecostal Light and Life mm. Ministries. Join. Ball banged up field. Blocked out and able to come forward with his man's well. It's Keyshawn Manswell. 
Ball a shot from distance, but it's easily handled by Darren Gregor. Trying to tread the needle there was Young Gibbs. But it comes off a Scarborough player. It's going to be a throwing face team. If you're just joining us, you're watching the secondary schools Tiger Tank. Footballing. Scarborough Sec up against Light and Life in the Tobago Division. Scarborough leading this one five goals to nil. An infringement just taking place. And now taking a shot from distance here. Standing over this one, it's going to be Davidson. Davidson shot wide of the mark and it just goes out. It's going to be a goal kick for the Light and Life team. Well, cleared up field. defender but then it's banged back the other way going with a bit of a run here is York he has the opportunity and he just skies it really so the back line of the light and life ministry school in a bit of a panic <laughs> Yeah. They already down I five goals to nil. They'll be trying to get back in this one. Yeah. To at least put up a better display in this the second half. Ball play through. Good touch by Tony. Skips past one challenge. But making a good recovery tackle there. Yeah. And putting it into, it into touch was the defender. Fluted across, not the best of corners, but it gets flying straight through and able to dive onto it. Goalkeeper Greg, and he's able to punt that upfield. Ball played wider. Here comes the Oh, good skill there. Lovely skill by Gibbs. But then his outlet pass, just not, just a bit too far forward. In fact, it was James with that lovely piece of skill. I 
Schon ab vier. Clear down vier. And then this going out of play. Gonna be a corner here for the Scarborough team. The referee just looking across to ensure that the ball felt something a shin pad. So he's just retrieving one of the players' shin pads. Did he put it on? <laughs> The youngster Allen just trying it off the field in the referee asking him, What are you doing, young man? <laughs> you need to put on your, your, your shin pads. So let's look at the delivery. Oh, it's driven across the turf, easily cut out in the end. And Pentecostal Light and Life able to come forward. He's been tricky. Yeah, this youngster, the pine size number eight, Kai James. Some good work here. Ball across. And just flashing wide there. A shot from distance from Zwani Bien. Boy, I reverse and go forward. I reverse and go back forward. Ball banged up field. Strong challenge. Wins out and take a quickly taken free kick. Probably taken a bit too quickly. Just goes out of play. Headed out there by James. Have a no thing over and a range over. Tune up field. Tony goes out for a corner. So another corner here. As the goalkeeper Greg gets his shoelace tied. So Scarborough Secondary applying some pressure here. They're already leading five goals to nil in what seems to be a very comfortable game for them. They'll be looking to probably get yeah, two or three more in this the second half. Yet to get past goalkeeper Greg in this half, though. Ball floated over, just really kicked out. So it's going to be a goal kick there. All right, Life Ministries. They go short, trying to build the ball out of the back. A shot, oh, just flashing wider. So the ball just flashing wide there. Going out, it's gonna be a goal kick. Goalkeeper Greg has to go all the way back and get retrieved. Just going out of play. Staying down there with a bit of an injury is the number nine. Cameron York.
So just ah, it seems to be a bit of cramp. The cramp just stepping in. Still Aye, staying yeah. down. Play, play thing there. Aye. You didn't even put. You got a game thing over. Aye. Finally able to get up. up and the game can continue so they're looking yeah, to clear kick this one up field Keeper Craig. Falls. Looked to have fallen nicely, but it hasn't been. And then this ball, Chirichu, in a bit of a foot race. Here is James. But across the really defensive cleanup job was Davidson. Well, I don't know if you move here, that's just as well for the coach. You're right, but if, if your team done, this will bring him back, maybe feel like Bill and go up. Yeah, yeah, the Bill was somebody on the Forward comes uh, Scarborough Sec. Looking. To add another. Trying to turn. But they're unable to clear the lines. But Alin battling between two Scarborough players. Out of play. Ball floated into the area, well, attempt to, to be floated into the area. It goes uh, behind and goalkeeper Greg will just run it down, get it forward. Yet to be breached in this uh, second half. So he'll be satisfied with that. Well, again. Short pass by the defender, though. And be able to come forward. Big ball forward. It's in the James. James with the opportunity. Still James. Oh, it's just charged down. And a shot from distance. Goalkeeper able to come and claim. That's goalkeeper George. Finally getting the ball in his hands. It's not something that he's done often during this game. The game has been played almost exclusively in the half of uh, the Pentecostal Light and Life team. Can he keep it in play? Going for a bit of a run. But then he loses out and Stuart able to come forward with it. But was easily doing to the hands over goalkeeper 
Gregor. He dumps it downfield. Falls to the feet of a Scarborough secondary school player. As they try to clear their lines. There's some good skill here. Nice interpassing. Hmm. All play through Tony. And Tony smashes it home to make it six goals to nil. He celebrates a la Cristiano Ronaldo as Tony, Jeremiah Tony. The game seemed to have just been meandering to an end. But Jeremiah Tony adding an exclamation mark. It was a well taken finish. He runs away, celebrates. A la Cristiano Ronaldo. In the meantime, two players have stayed down for the Scarborough Secondary School team. It seemed to be a bit of cramp stepping in. The weather is very hot. So hydration would be a problem. As well, it's been a game played at a pretty phonetic pace. For under 13s. For one under 13s. Pentecostal Light and I trying to at least get back one, trying to at least answer the call. Going down there under the challenge. Beard, it's, it's going to be a free kick for Scarborough Secondary. So even though if I end up near there or not there, wherever, I'll call you later and see the a shot from distance oh. and it's been tapped home the infringement has taken place on the keeper and the forward finds himself in the referee's book it's a bit of over enthusiasm there the ball was played sure and just getting into contact with the face of uh, the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper Darren Gregor. Gregor. He's just coming out to ensure that ball is well. Referee Dennis standing right over it, so he's yeah, close them proximity. Different, different. The are real opportunity now, and them just. In number five, he has touched. Yeah. They think he go up this one, he's like the one who's gone. And they come and check him. He's going to say. They never know he has get, he has get careful for that thing there. That's why you get 44 to official referee, they never know that. But the players and them. So the players just having a discussion. As the keeper has stayed down. So in the meantime, we've got some of the goals. This was. Yeah, you never the, the only goal in the second half. A beautiful finish by Jeremiah Tony. But of course, with the goal, the score at six goals to nil, it means that we had uh, five goals in the first half. As keeper Craig is back 
on Craig is back on his feet. All seems to be well. So as the elders say, all's well that ends well. So he's up and ready to go. Alain will take the result on free kick. Ball is played through. A shot. Going to go for a bit of a run here. But he plays an intelligent ball aimed at the forward. Just played out though for a throw in. Oh, cleared up field, headed back, and the keeper comes and claims quite easily. Then he bangs it up field, trying to get his forwards going. Tony trying to get his hat trick, but he's ushered off of it. Davidson just bangs it up field. Anyway, we'll do. I think looking a bit of samba. The the light and life player. Oh, losing his footing, and able to get in his James. But then some good work by the skipper. That's Peters, able to recover. He was all over the shop. They are losing his footing, but he's able to recover and get the job done. So we're just about 54 minutes gone in this one. If you're just joining us, you're watching the Tiger Tank Secondary Schools football action. It's the under 13 division here in Tobago. Scarborough Secondary, they're up against Light and Life Ministries, Pentecostal Light and Life Ministries. Scarborough Sec, they lead this one by a commanding six goals to nil margin. Uh, the trick book seems to have come out. Did we see a shot from distance? We'll, we'll keep on Darion Greg to take. He leave it for Alin to kick out. Greg has been holding his head since he's coming to collision. He had that collision accident. Strong challenge. And just clear up field. Anywhere will do. I tune on my team thing over and over. Well, this played out. It's going to be light and life ministries ball. And the ball cleared out, and it's going to be a throw in. There you see all of the Scarborough Sec faithful. They're already beginning to rejoice here. A bit of football tennis, no team ready. Putting their foot on the ball, knocking that ball around, ensuring that they had possession for the remaining portions of this game. Scarborough Sec probably looking for at least one more. In the Pentecostal Light of Life ministry team, they'll definitely want to get on the scorecard.
The game just losing its shape. A shot from distance. A good save there by goalkeeper George. Quite cool, calm, and collected. It's going to be a throw in there for the Scarborough Sec team. Some coaching taking place. By an excited fan. Ball through to the inside. Nice work by the skillful Kai James. And then he plays one wider. Malik Manswell in a bit of a foot race. But he loses out. And he's able to win back. Ball across. George comes and he claims. So time beginning to wind down here in this one. Scarborough sec. They lead six goals to nil. And they're coming for a seventh. Ball across. Oh, and it's into the back of the net. The substitute able to put a steep in his name on the score sheet. So with time beginning to expire ahead, it was a beautiful ball across. A well taken goal, to be fair. Goalkeeper Craig. Gregor beaten there. No, it's not a goal. Called out for the infringement on the goalkeeper. So a foul on the goalkeeper. Here comes Pentecostal Light and Knife though, trying to get one. They want to at least leave with their names on the score sheet. But here comes Scarborough Probably just looking for one more. Tony with a shot. And it just flashes two over. Just now, come on. Watch that number two there just now. Which one? You yeah, yeah. You're yeah. a big player. I watch him just yeah. now. I kill you, people. Yeah. When I see all the guys are big players, I don't know. Who is that? That you, man. I'm part of it. Yeah. 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 Good player. Mm. Here yeah, they come again. Oh, clear, don't feel. Some good skill. Tony. <laughs> nice attempt at passing that ball around. Stewart. Somebody come. Still Stewart. Stewart with a shot. It just goes wide, just flashing wide. Goalkeeper cool cool Greg, he's been in the wars, Darren Greg. His team has been down. Six so goals to nil, but he's not been embarrassed, defeated, yeah. but not embarrassed, disgraced. Telling you that life by showing you sometimes we just sit on here and when something happens, we just more man, whatever. We never know why we get delayed. You know Me, I used to argue up myself, but when you have a delivery, you just have for a delivery. True, fall through. The referee would have said it. Nice thing going up the road. Now, if I don't get delayed, I sure it have beaten time for that. A little excitement there on the Scarborough Sec bench. Just headed clear. Ball goes out of play. up the line it's not much more time left in this one uh, 
Scarborough looking for now one more push to get at least a seven goal. No way till the game start. Eh? No, I just say now, nah, don't let the game start. Ball charge down. Petty Costa Light and Life would probably just want to get their name on the score sheets. Referee just calling for the infringement there. And burst in through and goal a shot. Oh, and Tony gets his hat trick probably at the very last. Here, yeah, Jeremiah Tony. It was a good shot. The follow up and man on the spot was Tony. Keeper Greg. Doing well, just pushing that ball out of the danger area, and that's the end of it all. There, the referee calling halt to proceedings. So, at the end of full time, Scarborough secondary Dave won this one seven goals to nil. Well, from all of us here, I want to thank you for viewing another presentation from us here on Tiger Sports in Tiger Sports International so goodbye and be safe you see uh, I bet you have to jump any move if you jump any move believe what I tell you that's yeah. there when you jump I say I bet believe what I tell you I can't believe what I tell you what is that move? What? Did you see him get some shock there? He's playing it. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to go to the other side. Yeah, he's going to go to the other side. Yeah. What do you need to look at the other side? The other side. I'm going to go to the other side. Yeah.